Hello everybody, this is not really a tool review or a how-to, this is just kind of some other project I've got going on. Um, I'm throwing this up there and if you guys want to see progressive updates uh, on what's going on with this project, drop me some comments, otherwise I'm not going to bother filming it as I move along. But in essence what this is related to is a distressed property that my wife and I had purchased as an investment and it is in a great town in a great neighborhood great house but it has a lot of issues now basically what it amounts to is the folks that lived there were I'm gonna call them hoarders but I can't say for certain they were very active people very into what they were doing but this place literally had it's about I think 1500 square feet maybe 1700 they literally had aisles of things stacked leaned up this that and the other going on in this place when we actually went and looked at it it was occupied uh, it was unbelievable you could not hardly see the walls you couldn't really ascertain the condition of the property but I was able to kind of see through the mess and see a diamond in the rough there so this is just a clip on it uh, the gentleman that lived there was a woodworker, which I greatly appreciated, and I actually saw a lot of his work in progress and finished products. Basically, what he made was doll furniture. And when I say doll, I mean like the larger scale Barbie dolls, 12, 16 inch, something along those lines. He made chairs, couches, coffee tables, furnishings, things of that nature out of real woods scaled them down the way that the, they would be made originally and just scaled everything down into a miniature form it was very very talented she made a lot of doll clothes uh, they did uh, like she made baby dolls and stuff and she had a kiln we found the molds for doll heads and doll parts and things like that that were left in the property a lot of wood good wood this that and the other uh, great appreciation for what he did and she did for that matter but there was a lot of emotion in this house there's a lot of damage that had been done doors kicked in almost every door or actually every door in the place had fist holes in it holes all over the drywall artwork all over the walls you know just really really in bad shape so I'm gonna throw this out there and just kind of give you my jump off starting point even though I'm about two weeks in what you're about to see doesn't even hold a candle to what we walked in on after it was vacant so if you're interested take a peek drop me a line let me know if you want to see some progressive updates on how the pro property is progressing and if not I'll just delay filming it and not film it at all alright well here's the front room you can see it had Parquet where all this glue is goes all the way around the room and these were inset pieces of carpet. I used my Harbor Freight Rotary hammer about a couple hours made short work of that This place is in some dire need of some help uh, actually found 18 brand new doors that people were going to put in never been installed bunch of wood he was a woodworker this craftsman table saw was here all this stuff boxes of tile things that were just left this place was uh, packed full even after they left it was still packed full you could it was they were hoarders I guess pathways to get everywhere you couldn't hardly see any walls or anything so this is actually the return air for the, the heater and the air conditioner I've got a new plan for that so basically, just to give you an idea on what we're going to do, uh, this bar sink thing is getting gone. This bulkhead here is going to be shoved up to the ceiling. This wall will be gone. This is the pantry. It'll go to this wall. This is all going to be gone. And there'll be a door right there for the new pantry that goes out into the garage. And I'll show that momentarily. Uh, you guys want to see something nasty? Uh, I'm going to be using a scraper to take up this vinyl. That's where the 
refrigerator was sitting. That's tasty. Anybody want some bacon? <laughs> Look at this. That is unbelievable. Look at the countertops. It is just grease. Grease everywhere. So like I said, this cabinetry here is going to be coming out. This is where the refrigerator would sit. It's going to be installed over here. That will be the new refrigerator. Uh, since we're opening up this whole area, it'll probably be an island somewhere in this arena. That should be pretty cool. Moving into the laundry room. Another tasty treat of dirty vinyl flooring. Pretty big area in here. It will all be fixed up and dolled up. Uh, there's not one door in this place that has not been kicked in or have holes punched in it. Damage everywhere. We'll show you some of that as well. There's actually a water line, starts 3 8 that was connected in here that was feeding something out in this area. They may have had a refrigerator sitting here at one point in time. Left a kiln. All of this wood material here was left. Uh, there are tons of picture frame material, pretty expensive picture frame stuff. Uh, wood, oak, walnut, pine, maybe a little bit of maple, poplar, everywhere. Look at that piece of uh, oak crown right there. There's some other stuff in here that's bigger than that. Here it is. Look at this crown molding. Can't, can't tell how big it is, but there's two or three pieces of that. There's a huge chunk of poplar, big board foot inside, all kinds of stuff. Look at this tube of stuff here. I don't know if it's showing up. Dowels, maple, cherry, walnut, poplar. I mean, a woodworker's dream. He was a woodworker. Sheets of MDF and just all new stuff. It's unbelievable. A little bit of Luan. See, here's some of the doors. Hope you can see that one been kicked in. Fisted on that one. Just destructive. furnace was inoperable the fan runs all the time and it wasn't firing off it had a rollout issue so it popped the uh, fusible link that was in it you know about three dollars and fifty cents no I'm sorry about a dollar for one of those got the burners running but the fan doesn't shut off got a fan center coming for it for 35 bucks just so I can keep it warm in here through the winter this is all getting replaced but there's where the cold air return comes in my plan is there will be a filter box right here that runs up into the attic and it'll be mounted in the ceiling. It's only got one return. It doesn't have them in all the rooms. Hot water tank's in good shape, but that unit's going to be replaced in the spring. So, give you a shot of the ceiling here. That's nice, huh? Just, I don't get it. <laughs> That's what that is. Probably get a new overhead door, new door opener. Just kind of going room by room for those who are interested. So basically we're going to have a probably a laminate floor in this whole area. And somewhere over in there we're probably going to switch to tile in the front room. It'll be wood all the way down this hallway here. Tile in this bathroom. And then it'll start going off into carpet in these rooms. This room was actually an atrium or something like that. It wasn't closed in at one point, so this is going to be the fourth bedroom. Technically, it's a three bedroom. So somewhere in here, that sliding pocket door there will get gone. There'll be a closet over there. Uh, this room just had two aisles. It had so much stuff in here, even after they moved. So this particular bathroom here, got a free job site radio there, it was left behind. I actually have that same one in my shop at home. Here's another example of some anger. This bulkhead up here will get lifted up to the ceiling, get that gone. Actually going to blow this wall out, it'll just make the room feel bigger, just to show you some more beauty. 
and this is in a really nice neighborhood as well. How do you like to put your kids in that? So, it's going to get a new one here. And blow that bulkhead out. I should open this room up quite a bit. Here's some more anger. They were artists, talented at that. And the gentleman made scale furniture for dolls. He was a woodworker. He was very good at it. I saw his work when we were coming in to look. You know, just more damage. There was a built-in shelving system here that's being taken out. It's kind of moving down in. Another nice wall. Uh, this particular room I'm standing in here had a lock, a padlock on the outside of the door. <laughs> they stored a bunch of MREs and in that closet right there, there was 25 gallon buckets of wheat. More holes. You know, there's drawings all over the walls. The next room is going to give you an example of kind of what I'm talking about. You know, not much to look at here. You know, it's got walk in closets and all the bath bedrooms. So everything will get fixed in here and made to look new. This evidently was a teenager's room, I would guess. Artwork everywhere. Paint, magic marker, you name it, it's on the wall. Holes everywhere. Look at this. The bed evidently sit here. You know, kicks, punches more punches. You can tell there was more like balls or something that was thrown at the ceiling. Light switches are upside down, both of them in this room. That's where a lot of the fits came out, whatever was happening there. But more than likely, instead of trying to put who knows how much primer and worrying about this stuff to bleed through, uh, this is all just gonna get ripped out hung new with drywall. Drywall is really inexpensive. It'll be cheaper to use drywall than try to prime this and cover This is pretty much the master bedroom here. And sliding glass door. Those will probably get double doors, French doors put on them. Little deck will go out that way. But even in this room, random holes. Just everywhere. And like I said, not a, not a door wasn't kicked in or punched in. Not a single solitary one of them. A little vanity area. We've actually just looked nothing like that when we got here. That was after we cleaned it up so we could have a place to do our business. Hole in the bottom of the tub. All kinds of lint. Dirt, garbage, you name it. You should have seen the amount of dirt when the carpets were still in here actually paid to get all those yanked out 120 bucks money well spent walk-in closet here but that's pretty much it you know a lot of it is just minor cosmetic stuff slab you know there's some stress cracks here and there but nothing settled out good foundation I'm not gonna bother showing the outside right now because it's extremely cold and I'm not doing anything but just an idea on what I got going on